What is up you guys? It's Gabby Delise and welcome to my channel. Did y'all see that new Halloween intro though? So it is officially spooky season and this is gonna be my first Halloween video, which I'm really excited about because y'all already know that I am completely obsessed with Halloween. So the time has come where it's Halloween and I just get to go all out. To start off spooky season and my spooky season series, um, I went to Dollar Tree and I got a whole bunch of shit. Y'all already know that I love the Dollar Tree and just the Dollar Tree has such good Halloween decorations, so please do not sleep on it. I went to Dollar Tree, actually I went twice to do two different Dollar Trees and I just got a whole bunch of shit. So that is gonna be today's video. I am doing a Halloween Dollar Tree haul and I'm just gonna share with you guys all of the lovely spooky goodies that i got from there so yeah let's just go ahead and get this shit started so the first items that i got are for a diy project so the first things that i picked up were these four decorative meshes so i have a black one i have an orange one and a purple and then this one is like black, but it has an orange glitter uh, spider webs all over it. So yeah, I picked up these four meshes because I want to DIY a Halloween wreath. And so I was just looking up different videos on how to do that. And then a lot of people use those mesh. And that is also gonna be my next video. I'm gonna show you guys how I DIY'd my own Halloween wreath using all these Dollar Tree products. The next thing I picked up was this wreath ring and that's obviously what I'm going to build the wreath on. And then I also picked up just some plain black um, pipe cleaners and that's how we're gonna attach it. And then I also found these cute ribbons One's like a black and white uh, bat, and then this one has spider webs, and it says Happy Halloween. It's really cute. I have no idea what I'm going to do with those. Probably just like stick them in the wreath, I guess. But it was just cute, so I wanted it, so I got it. But it was just really cute, and I decided to get them. The next thing I picked up was like in their candle section. So they had these cute um, like tea light candle holders. This one is orange, and it says Trick or Treat on it. They also had one in black that said like Happy Halloween, which was really cute, but I didn't end up getting that one because I wanted it to match these other candles that I got. So the next thing I picked up are two of these little jack-o'-lantern candle holders, whatever you want to call these. Hello. You can put candles in them or tea lights or whatever so i got two of these and then i just wanted it to like match with the whole orange theme except i probably should have gotten the black one so what i want to do with these jack lantern candle holders is i picked up three black candles i'm pretty sure they're the unscented ones yeah, they, they don't really smell, but they had black. Normally they just have like white and like random ugly colors, but they had black. So I picked up three of these and what I want to do, I want to melt these down and then like pour the melted wax into here to make these jack-o'-lantern candles. So I'm really excited about those. I hope they turn out well and everything goes smoothly because I think that would be a really cute idea. And the fact that they had these black tall candles, I was really excited about just to make the candles extra spooky because they did have white as well, but I was like, nah, I need black ones. Next up, I picked up a few knickknacks. Uh, I picked up this skull. It's just like really simple, but it was cute. Next thing I picked up were these like collection of spider rings they also had black bats 
in them, but I already use them for a DIY. You have the black bat rings, you cut off the ring part, and then you glue a magnet onto the back of the bat, and then I just stuck them all over my fridge, which was really cute, that's what I bought it for. Now I just have like a whole bunch of spiders, there's a skull, and they're just like multicolored. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these or if I'm just gonna like throw them away because I don't need them anymore but I got them for the black bats so I could put them all over my fridge. Next thing I picked up are these glitter vase fillers. It's basically just like orange and black glitter balls. I bought these to either decorate the wreath with or I wanted to like buy a glass vase and then put those in them and then stick like black flowers or actually I saw that Trader Joe's has like pumpkin trees. So I'm gonna go to my Trader Joe's and see if they have them there. And if they do, I'll put those pumpkin trees into the glass vase and then fill it with those. So we'll see if my Trader Joe has it, but if not, I'll probably stick like orange flowers or like plastic black roses or something. Next thing I got was just like these little word, I don't even know, they're just like, decorative words this one says haunted this one says beware and then this one says spooky i'm either gonna put the spooky one on the wreath or probably just like pin these up somewhere in my apartment i don't really know what i'm gonna do with them but i like them so i got them which is kind of the running theme of this entire video i liked it so i got it so the next thing i got is an absolute halloween staple i picked up these creepy cloths i got them in white this time normally i get them in black now there's a whole bunch of dust flying everywhere so i got them in white this time normally i have them in black um, so I still have black left over, so I didn't want to buy more black, and I've never used the white ones. Um, but with this, I want to, like, drape in my room hallway. So, like, every time you go into your room, you gotta, like, separate it. Kind of, like, make them into, like, creepy curtains. But, yeah, this stuff always looks really cool no matter how you decorate your house with it. These are kind of dumb, but I saw them last second, and I was, like... I kind of like them, I don't know why, but I got these like plastic bats. And then it has like a ring here, so I think I want to like hang it from the ceiling um, using fishing wire and then just have these bats like flying around. I don't know, it might look stupid, it might look cool, we shall see. Oh, before I forget, um. I also got these window stickers. One is just like bloody handprints. And then another one says, get out. And it's like drippy and blood and red, but I already put them up in my bathroom. I'll insert a picture of what they look like because I put them in my bathroom mirror and it looks so dope. And anytime I take like a picture in there, it'll make it extra spooky. And I really love that idea that I did. The next item I picked up is just this like wooden box decoration that says trick or treat. It's in like a really dope font. Like I would totally get that font tattooed on me. And then it has a cute little skull here and then like plaid on the sides, which is really cute. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put this because like I don't have a lot of like, I don't have bookshelves or any shelving to like put things like this on, but I'll probably just put it like on my kitchen counter, I don't know. Or even like put it with the jack-o'-lantern candles. This next thing I literally saw at the last second and I had to like dig to find this specific one, but I'm literally so obsessed with it. It is a bat, like a bath mat. No, it's a like a, what do you call those? A doormat literally a doormat okay so i got this doormat and it says home sweet haunted home like are you kidding me right now and then it's got like spider webs in the corner which make it look really badass it has a little spider and then like a little bat right there and then i really just loved how haunted it was in red i was like that's so me 
I love it, so I'm gonna put this outside my apartment door. Hopefully no one steals it. There was literally just one of that one and I was like, it was meant to be. So the rest of the items that I picked up are just like signs. The signs at Dollar Tree are so cute this year. I don't know what's going on. The first one I got, it's like kind of, it's like big uh, pipe cleaner feeling. Um, so it looks really glittery and then this spider in the center uh, is supposedly glow in the dark. It hasn't glowed so I don't know if I just like need to charge it in the sun first or if it just doesn't work but regardless it looks really cute on the walls. The next thing I got is literally the cutest thing ever. It's this little wooden sign that says boo and it's a little ghosty and he's just so cute. Like, look at him, he's so cute. Literally the cutest thing ever, so I had to pick it up. Then one similar to that, I got just like a really super glittery, glittery, glittery uh, jack-o'-lantern. Um, I actually got this because I think I'm gonna put him in the center of my Halloween wreath, kind of like that. Um, but it honestly looks really big, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit, so I picked up another sign. It's this one, it says, welcome my pretties. Um, but I really just wanted it for this this welcome sign, so if the jack o' lantern is too big, I'm just gonna like cut the other two parts off and then have it just say welcome in the center like this. Um, and maybe even glue the like witch hat on top. That might be cute. So yeah, we'll see what I end up picking. But like I said, I'm gonna film that process for you guys and we'll see what I come up with. So the next wooden sign I got, just because it was like on brand for me. So it's just a little sign and it has little Halloween words on it. One, the top one says happy Halloween, then it says witches, beware, spooky, boo, creepy, haunted. And I just like that it was red, black, and white, which is literally my entire soul's colors. So I just thought this was cute um, to hang up on the wall. The last thing I got from the Dollar Tree was this sign. It's black and it says beware. Beware, beware, beware. That word is sounding really weird right now. Anyways, it's just like kind of like those cute like welcome signs that you put like in the front of your house, but it's small and then spooky version. And then I just love the spider webs here. It just makes it look really badass. And then the lettering is glittery, so it makes it extra cute as well. And like this glitter is like duochrome. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like green and orange. And I'm like, okay, Dollar Tree. So yeah, I think that is everything I got from the Dollar Tree this time around. I'll probably end up going back for some more shit, but that is what I've accumulated so far. This year they had a whole bunch of good stuff. I'm really impressed by Dollar Tree this year. Their Halloween section was on point. Super cheap, affordable, and you can get really cute home decorations and DIY items for literally the lowest low. So I'm really excited to start decorating my apartment and doing my Halloween DIYs. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already because that is normally how I will like show you guys my DIY projects and like little things I do like that. So follow me on Instagram at Gabby.Delise. And yeah, that is it for this Dollar Tree Halloween haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe before you go ho. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.